the most common injuries in people with osteoporosis are broken wrist, broken hip, hip fracture, broken spinal bones, vertebrae. However, breaks can also happen in other bones, such as in the arm or pelvis. Sometimes a cough or sneeze can cause a broken rib or the partial collapse of one of the bones of the spine. Osteoporosis is not usually painful until a bone is broken, but broken bones in the spine are a common cause of long-term pain. Although a broken bone is often the first sign of osteoporosis, some older people develop the characteristic stoop, a bent forward, posture. It happens when the bones in the spine have broken, making it difficult to support the weight of the body. The stage before osteoporosis is called osteopenia. This is when a bone density scan shows you have lower bone density than the average for your age, but not low enough to be classed as osteoporosis. Osteopenia does not always lead to osteoporosis. It depends on many factors. If you have osteopenia, there are steps you can take to keep your bones healthy and reduce your risk of developing osteoporosis. Osteoporosis causes bones to become weaker and more fragile. Some people are more at risk than others. Bones are thickest and strongest in your early adult life until your late 20s. You gradually start losing bone from around the age of 35. This happens to everyone, but some people develop osteoporosis and lose bone much faster than normal. This means they're at greater risk of a fracture. Osteoporosis can affect men and women. It's more common in older people, but it can also affect younger people. Women are more at risk of developing osteoporosis than men because the hormone changes that happen at the menopause directly affect bone density. The female hormone estrogen is essential for healthy bones. After the menopause, estrogen levels fall. This can lead to a rapid decrease in bone density. Women are at even greater risk of developing osteoporosis if they have an early menopause before the age of 45, a hysterectomy removal of the womb before the age of 45, particularly when the ovaries are also removed, absent periods for more than six months as a result of over-exercising or too much dieting in most cases, the cause of osteoporosis in men is unknown. However, there's a link to the male hormone testosterone, which helps keep the bones healthy. Men continue producing testosterone into old age, but the risk of osteoporosis is increased in men with low levels of testosterone. In around half of men, the exact cause of low testosterone levels is unknown, but known causes include taking certain medicines such as steroid tablets, alcohol misuse, hypogonadism, a condition that causes abnormally low testosterone levels, many hormones in the body affect bone turnover. If you have a disorder of the hormone-producing glands, you may have a higher risk of developing osteoporosis. Hormone-related disorders that can trigger osteoporosis include overactive thyroid gland, reduced amounts of sex hormones, estrogen and testosterone, disorders of the pituitary gland, Overactivity of the parathyroid glands, hyperparathyroidism. Other factors thought to increase the risk of osteoporosis and broken bones include a family history of osteoporosis, a parental history of hip fracture, a body mass index, BMI, of 19 or less, long-term use of high-dose steroid tablets, these are widely used for health conditions such as arthritis and asthma. Having an eating disorder such as anorexia or bulimia. Heavy drinking and smoking. Rheumatoid arthritis. Malabsorption problems as in celiac disease and Crohn's disease. Some medicines used to treat breast cancer and prostate cancer that affect hormone levels. Long periods of inactivity such as long-term bed rest, treating osteoporosis, involves treating and preventing fractures and using medicines to strengthen bones. Although a diagnosis of osteoporosis is based on the results of your bone density scan, 
the decision about what treatment you need, if any, is based on a number of other factors including your age, sex, risk of breaking a bone, previous injury history. If you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis because you've had a broken bone, you should still receive treatment to try to reduce your risk of further broken bones. You may not need or want to take medicine to treat osteoporosis. However, make sure you're getting enough calcium and vitamin D. To achieve this, your healthcare team will ask you about your diet and may recommend that you make changes or take supplements. A number of different medicines are used to treat osteoporosis and sometimes osteopenia. Bisphosphonates. Bisphosphonates slow the rate that bone is broken down in your body. This maintains bone density and reduces your risk of a broken bone. There are a number of different bisphosphonates including Alandronic acid Ibendronic acid Ristronate Zoldronic acid They're given as a tablet, a liquid that you swallow, or an injection. Always take bisphosphonates on an empty stomach with a full glass of water. Stand or sit upright for 30 minutes after taking them. You'll also need to wait between 30 minutes and 2 hours before eating food or drinking any other fluids. Isosthenates usually take 6 to 12 months to work, and you may need to take them for 5 years or longer. You may also be prescribed calcium and vitamin D supplements to take at a different time to the bisphosphonate. The main side effects associated with bisphosphonates include Irritation to the food pipe Swallowing problems Stomach pain Osteonecrosis of the jaw is a rare side effect linked with the use of bisphosphonates, although most frequently with high-dose intravenous bisphosphonate treatment for cancer and not for osteoporosis parathyroid hormone is produced naturally in the body. It regulates the amount of calcium in bone. Parathyroid hormone treatments, such as teriparatide, are used to stimulate cells that create new bone. You take them as an injection once a day. While other medicines can only slow down the rate of bone thinning, parathyroid hormone can increase bone density. However, it's only used in a small number of people whose bone density is very low and when other treatments are not working. Nausea, headaches, and dizziness are common side effects of the treatment. Calcium is the main mineral found in bone, and having enough calcium as part of a healthy, balanced diet is important for maintaining healthy bones. For most healthy adults, the recommended amount of calcium is 700 mg mg of calcium a day, which most people should be able to get from a varied diet that contains good sources of calcium. However, if you have osteoporosis, you may need more calcium, usually as supplements. Ask your GP for advice about taking calcium supplements. Vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium. All adults should have 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day. From about late March or early April to the end of September, most people should be able to get all the vitamin D they need from sunlight on their skin. But since it's difficult to get enough vitamin D from food alone, everyone, including pregnant and breastfeeding women, should consider taking a daily supplement containing 10 micrograms of vitamin D during the autumn and winter HRT can be taken by women who are going through the menopause to help control symptoms. HRT has also been shown to keep bones strong and reduce the risk of getting osteoporosis. If you already have osteoporosis it can strengthen your bones and reduce your risk of breaking a bone. If you have early menopause, where your periods stop before the age of 45, you'll usually be advised to take HRT or a hormonal contraceptive until at least age 51. This increases your level of estrogen, which helps protect you from osteoporosis and other health conditions. Making some simple changes at home can help reduce the risk of breaking a bone in a fall. Check your home for hazards you may trip over, such as trailing wires. Make sure rugs and carpets are secure, and keep rubber mats by the sink and in the bath to prevent slipping.
have regular sight tests and hearing tests. Some older people may need to wear special protectors over their hips to cushion a fall. Your GP can offer help and advice about changes to your lifestyle. Regular exercise and a healthy diet are important for everyone, not just people with osteoporosis. They can help prevent many serious conditions, including heart disease and many forms of cancer. Make sure you have a balanced diet that contains all the food groups to give your body the nutrition it needs. Find out more about food for healthy bones. Find out more about exercise and physical activity for osteoporosis and bone health on the Royal Osteoporosis Society website. Your GP or nurse may be able to answer any questions you have about living with osteoporosis and can reassure you if you're worried. You may also find it helpful to talk to a trained counselor or psychologist or to someone at a specialist helpline. Your GP surgery will have information about these. Some people find it helpful to talk to others with osteoporosis, either at a local support group or online. You should be able to continue working if you have osteoporosis. It's very important that you remain physically active. This will help keep your bones healthy. However, if your work involves the risk of falling or breaking a bone, get advice from your employer, GP, and the Royal Osteoporosis Society about how to limit your risk of having an accident or injury that could lead to a bone break. Regular exercise is essential. Adults aged 19 to 64 should do at least 2 hours and 30 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic activity, such as cycling or fast walking, every week. Weight-bearing exercise and resistance exercise are particularly important for improving bone density and helping to prevent osteoporosis. As well as aerobic exercise, adults aged 19 to 64 should also do muscle strengthening activities on two or more days a week by working all the major muscle groups, including the legs, hips, back, abdomen, chest, arms, and shoulders. If you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, it's a good idea to talk to your GP or health specialist before starting a new exercise program to make sure it's right for you. Find out more about Physical Activity Guidelines for Adults Aged 19 to 64 Physical Activity Guidelines for Older Adults How to Keep Bones Healthy Over 65 Weight-Bearing Exercise is exercise where your feet and legs support your weight. High-impact weight-bearing exercise, such as running, skipping, dancing, aerobics, and even jumping up and down on the spot, are all useful ways to strengthen your muscles, ligaments, and joints. When exercising, wear footwear that provides your ankles and feet with adequate support, such as trainers or walking boots. People over the age of 60 can also benefit from regular weight-bearing exercise. This can include brisk walking, keep fit classes, or a game of tennis. Swimming and cycling are not weight-bearing exercise, however resistance exercise uses muscle strength, where the action of the tendons pulling on the bones boosts bone strength. Examples include press-ups, weightlifting or using weight equipment at a gym. If you've recently joined a gym or have not been for a while, your gym will probably offer you an induction. This involves being shown how to use the equipment and having exercise techniques recommended to you. Always ask an instructor for help if you're not sure how to use a piece of gym equipment or how to do a particular exercise eating a healthy, balanced diet is recommended for everyone. It can help prevent many serious health conditions, including heart disease, diabetes, and many forms of cancer, as well as osteoporosis. Calcium is important for maintaining bone health. Adults need 700 mg a day, which you should be able to get from your daily diet. Calcium-rich foods include Leafy green vegetables Dried fruit Tofu Dairy products such as milk, cheese, and yogurt. Vitamin D is important for healthy bones and teeth because it helps your body absorb calcium. All adults should consume 10 micrograms of vitamin D a day. Good dietary sources of vitamin D include oily fish such as salmon, sardines, herring and mackerel, red meat, liver, 
egg yolks. Fortified foods, such as most fat spreads and some breakfast cereals. Dietary supplements. However, it can be difficult to get enough vitamin D from foods alone. So, consider taking a daily supplement containing 10 micrograms of vitamin D. Other lifestyle factors that can help prevent osteoporosis include Quitting smoking Smoking is associated with an increased risk of osteoporosis. Limiting your alcohol intake The NHS recommends not drinking more than 14 units of alcohol a week. It's also important to avoid binge drinking.